Now, let's say that you and I did a job together, and somebody paid us to do that job. They paid us uh, $100. Now, if you and I contributed to that job evenly, it would make sense that you get $50 and I get $50. But what if you and I didn't contribute to the job evenly? What if you did a lot more work than I did? We can use ratios to uh, share this money more fairly. So this might be something like this. So we get paid $100 for a job where the ratio of your work to my work was three to two. How much should we each get? So maybe we were like um, mowing a lawn and you mowed this much of it and I mowed the leftover bit. You can see that you mowed more than I did. The ratio is three to two. Uh, which means you should get paid more. How much more should you get paid? Well, here's one way to solve it. Step one is to find the number of parts that we want to split this money into. Now, you did three parts of the work, and I did two parts of the work, which means that the total number of parts of work that got done is five. All right, so there's step one. Step two is to find the size of the part. And I'm using size here. Um, when what I'm really meaning is like the amount of each part. So if there are five parts in total of this laundry mode, we're going to get paid $100. The amount of money that we get paid for each part is $100 divided by the total number of parts. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So each of these strips is going to pay us $20. Then finally, step three here is to take the ratio and multiply it by the size of each part. Because remember, we're getting paid in a ratio of three to two, because you did three lots of the work and I did two lots of the work. So three is to two. If I multiply each side of this by 20, I'm gonna have three is to two is equal to 20 times three. 20 times three is two. 20 times 2. And that is 60 to 40. So finishing off this question, it means that you get $60 and I get $40. So that's how we can use ratios to share an amount in a ratio, share an amount in a given ratio. Now there is another way to do this, which I'm going to show you here now. We're going to get rid of step two and three, but step one is the same for both ways of working. So here's our alternative method. It's, we're going to get the same answer, we're just going to get there a different way. Find the number of parts, five total parts. And now we find our fractions. Now, let's look at you first. You did three parts of the work out of a total of five parts. So you did three-fifths of the work. I did two-fifths of the work. And now we should just get paid that fraction of the total money. So you get paid equals $100 times three-fifths which is $60. And I'll get paid um, $100 times two-fifths, which is $40. All right, dollar sign. Now, obviously, same answer both ways. You can check it each time because you can say 60 plus 40 equals 100. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so I'm going to do one more example here. I'm going to work both methods so you can see how they both work. Share 24 chocolates in the ratio. 4 is to 3 is to 1. All right, so in both methods, the first step is to find the total number of parts. And the total number of parts here is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1, which is equal to 8. Same on this side. Now, on this side, I'm going to find the size of each part size of a part. Now, there are 24 chocolates in the box. There are eight parts that I need. So 24 divided by eight will be the size of each part. Each part is three chocolates big. Now, on this side, we calculate our fraction for each person. So one person is gonna get 
four eighths of the chocolate, and you can simplify that. One person is going to get three eighths of the chocolate, and you can simplify. Oh, you can't simplify that. And one person is going to get one eighth of the chocolates. Okay, what about on this side now? All right, there's 24 chocolates in a ratio of four is to three is to one. We know that there's eight parts. We know that the size of each part is three. So now we can find out uh, how big each part should be by taking that ratio and multiplying the whole thing by three. So four is to three is to one is equal to three times four is to three times three is to uh, three times one is equal to 12 is to nine is to three. We should share the chocolates in that ratio. 12 for the first person, nine for the second person, and three for the third person. Okay, working on this side, we can say that the first person is gonna get four eighths of the 24 chocolates. Now that's one half, four eighths is the same as one half. One half times 24, that's 12. Three eighths is what the next person is gonna get uh, times 24. That's going to be equal to, um, it's equal to 9. And 1 8 times 24 is what the next person is going to get. And that's going to be equal to 3. Now you've kind of got a decision to make here. You don't really need to know how to use both methods, but you do need to know how to share an amount in a given ratio. So decide which sort of skill you like better. Do you prefer working with these parts or do you prefer working with these fractions? Either way, you need to know how to share chocolates or money among two or more people.